Today we are going to be looking at how to create a Windows 7 installation disk and also creating a Windows 7 ISO. So uh, the requirements we need to make sure you have a USB drive or a flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes and above. Uh, this is my flash drive. So the first step you need to do is make sure that you insert in your flash drive. So after inserting in your flash drive, then we can move on to the next step. Uh, go ahead and click your Google Chrome. Then go ahead and type in Dell Home. Uh, we are looking for the Dell website, okay? So just type in Dell Home, click Enter. Then make sure you're looking for Dell.com, okay? So just look for any website that has Dell.com, click on that website. Uh, then you should be able to go to the Dell website. Now, uh, when you come to the Dell website, uh, please don't mind. Yes, it's Dell, but I'm going to show you how we are going to use this to download our Windows 7, which can run on any computer. Be it maybe a different brand, maybe HP, maybe SA, or any other brand. Don't worry about that. So, uh, so go ahead and go to support, then click on support home. After clicking on support home, come here above search, type in OS, OS, ISO, then you hit enter. When you hit enter, okay, uh, scroll down. You see we have Dell Windows Recovery image okay you see we have that one we have all different recovery images so we're going to look for this one which has id w732 in case you don't have that one maybe you can also try this one to still give you the same and if you cannot see that one then you can also try and look for this even if it has line next it's the same image okay uh so i'm going to go ahead and click on this one dell windows recovery image then uh, we are going to end up having this. In case you cannot see it, I will attach the link in the description. So go ahead and click on Download OS Recovery Tool. So when I download the OS Recovery Tool, uh, after downloading, go ahead and open up the Recovery Tool. You can see this is the Dell USB Recovery Tool application. F7, that is the number I have, then the version is 2.3. At least make sure you have version 2.3. Then if you, if you have a lesser version, uh, I think it may not work for us. So try and get that one. Then go ahead and install that. I will double click. Then I will install. Yes. Then I'm, they are showing me to install. Go ahead and click on install. We are going to click what? Install. So I'll click install that uh, let me minimize that then uh when you're installing first install the what the software for the what dell recovery they're saying that dell usb recovery tool application okay the update installer operation is successful okay then i'm going to go ahead and close that now if you check my desktop you can see that this is the application that has been downloaded this one okay I'm going to go ahead and open the Dell OS Recovery Tool. I'll click Yes. Then, uh, don't mind about this, the same service tag, just click OK. Then uh, move ahead. When you get to this point, you're going to need to go to Switch to Advanced Recovery Mode. Okay, Switch to Advanced Recovery Mode. I'll click Switch to Advanced Recovery Mode. Then we have this option here. Still, we are going to go and look for, click on for another computer. So I'll click for another computer. Then here, I'm supposed to enter tag. Okay. So this tag is going to make you download the Windows recovery for what? Windows 7 for now. Now, uh, I'm going to provide the tags in the description, maybe two tags. One tag is for Windows 7, 32-bit. And another tag is for Windows 7 64-bit. So feel free to choose 
what you prefer. If you want the Windows 7 tag, then if you want the Windows 7 32 bit, then enter the Windows 7 32 bit. If you prefer, if you prefer the Windows 7 64 bit, then enter the Windows 7 64 bit. Now these, these are my tags. Uh, I'll enter D, W, K, then 6, P, S, 1. Then I'm going to click search. So it is searching. Okay, I'll make sure I have the internet. Okay, now they're saying latitude is 6420 service tag. Then I'm going to click next. Then if I go to this step, you can see they're saying that I have Windows 7 SP1 professional 64 bit. The download size is seven, the download size is seven gigabytes. So what you're going to do, go ahead and click on download. When I click on the download, I'm going to bring for me this. Uh, so I have to go and select my flash drive and I have the one that for 32 gigabytes. Then when you finish that, go ahead and click I understand. Then click download. So it is going to use your internet and it's going to take some time to download. So it is downloading, but it is creating the image or the recovery drive on your flash drive. So it will take, it will take some time. You can say I have one hour here, but if you have faster internet and maybe your computer is also fast, it will take some short time. So I'm going to pause my video, then I'll come back when you have finished downloading. Uh, okay, now uh, the bootable drive has been finished being created, okay? If you want, you can go ahead, maybe download that file if you want, see? Then that's showing you how to install that. If you just connect to your computer, boot in and boot from the computer, start, you can go through and read that, read through that. Now, uh, this is a thing. Uh, in case you want, you can use this flash drive to install Windows 7. Okay, but I don't recommend us using that uh, because now I think the best way is for us to create our own ISO from the files that we have downloaded. Then we can create our own bootable drive. Okay, so what you're going to do, just click finish. Then when you finish, uh, click X and you close that. Closing the application. Now, uh, if you go, let us go and check out what, go to this PC. You see, if I check the USB drive, I have this. Okay. I have 21. If I click this, I can check inside. You see, I have boot, EFI, language packs, support. So all these are the Windows files. Okay. So we're going to create our ISO from these files. We're going to create a bootable ISO. Uh, in case you cannot see your USB drive, some of you can after creating that, most people maybe may not see that USB drive. It may not show here, okay? Please don't be afraid. Just go to Windows R and type disk MGMT at one dot MSC or go to disk management, click enter. Then your USB drive will be showing here, okay? Just right click on it. Then make sure that you click on change drive path, okay? Then you can create that. Just click that. Then OK. Your USB drive is going to show. That is only for those people whose USB drive cannot show after making it a bootable from the Dell recovery software. OK. Now the next step is first to create an ISO. Go ahead. Go to let us go back to our Google Chrome. Then type in. We are going to download the program to create the what? The bootable now so say download okay we shall use image ban then click enter then click on download image ban that one then go ahead uh, and look for you see we have mirror one two three four look for this one provided by image ban if you go to use if you did choose these other links these other links are going to take you to other different websites okay which is not better. So go to number seven, provided by image ban, click that one, 
then your file is going to start downloading immediately. After the file has downloaded, please install image ban. I'll open up my file. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, it is finished. Click here, then I'm going to open image ban. Set up yes, then install. I accept. Next. Then next. 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 The same would you like image ban? Okay, that one you can choose. It's up to you. I will say no for me. Then I'll finish up. Okay, then I'm going to finish. Now, this is the image ban. After that, open image ban like that. After opening image ban, we are going to create the ISO. Okay, so go ahead and choose create image file from the files because we want to get the image from the files that are on our flash drive okay remember we have a flash drive this one that has been created but we have these files so we want to create an image from these files so i go ahead and click create image file from this then go ahead and look for the source the source is where the files are that is your flash drive okay so we shall go ahead and look for the source Okay, I'll uh, search here. Then I'm going to go ahead and click here, look for the source. This is the source. Then I'll click this, and I'm going to say select folder, like that. Then I'm going to look for the destination. The destination is where you are going to save your files to. So where you're going to save your image to. So we shall go and look for where to save our image to. I'll still go and look this PC. Then I'm going to go and save my to the Mac OS. Okay. This is our open Mac OS. Then maybe you can create a new folder and you can call it Windows 7. Okay. And even say Windows 7 ISO. Like that. Then the file name, we're going to open that. Then the file name, we're going to make sure that we give it a file name. Windows 7 dot ISO. Make sure you give it that dot, okay? That's the file name we are creating. Windows 7 dot is, or then I'm going to say save. Now, uh, we are going to make the flash bootable. Okay, I mean the image bootable. So we are going to click on bootable disk, then click on make image bootable. Then go ahead, boot image, click on search. Then when you search, click this PC. Make sure you're looking for the file from the usb drive okay so i'll click on my usb drive like this then i'm going to open the boot that then i'm going to look for this folder called etfs boot click that then i'm going to click open then uh, in the developer id we're going to type microsoft corporation microsoft corporation uh Sorry, the spelling for corporation is wrong. Microsoft Corporation. C O R P O R A. Microsoft Corporation. Then uh, the sectors to load, we are going to make them eight. We shall use eight sectors to load. Okay. Then when you finish that one, uh, we are going to move on and click the build icon. Okay. There's an icon here which is saying build. So click on that, then it is going to start building. So they are saying that your image contains an install.wim file, okay, just click yes. Okay, now uh, do you want to use this volume label? Okay, we shall use yes. Okay, now they're saying uh, the content operating system was bootable, click, okay. Now, uh, they're showing you the process it is going to take here. You can check and see we have 8%, 10%, it will be very fast. Okay, the operation is successfully completed, so I'll click, okay. Now you can close the image ban. Then uh, if you go back to this PC, if I go to my Mac OS where I save that, then I check the Windows 7 ISO folder that I created, open that. I see that I have Windows 7 
dot iso image. You see this is the image that we are looking for. Windows dot seven ISO image. You can go ahead and check for its properties. You can see that it has seven point five gigabytes. Okay, now you can use that uh, if you want to create your Windows 7 bootable drive, okay? Just go ahead and create, maybe download Drawforce, then uh, go ahead and create that, then just go and download, I'll download this one maybe, the installer, Windows 64 bit. Okay, then after that one, I'll just open it, yes. Okay, that is it. Then they're saying, uh, they restore, I'll select my image. You see this? This is the uh, I'll just come and is, uh, select the image I want. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and click this PC. Then I'll go ahead to Mac OS, Windows 7, Windows 7 image. I'll click open. Then afterwards, I'll go ahead and select the flash drive. Yes, it is selected. Then the rest is okay. Windows 7 level, you can see that. Then I'm going to say, Start. Okay, they're going to format the flash drive. So I'll say start. Format flash drive, everything say. Okay. This is going to create for you Windows 7 bootable drive. Okay, this is the method I recommend. Uh, now Rufus has finished creating the Windows 7 bootable drive. So we can go ahead and uh, try testing it on our machines and see if it works. Uh, please don't worry, in case you have any queries or you are stuck on any step, you can drop down a comment, then I'll get back to you as soon as possible.